What's going on everybody? We are finally back at the racetrack for our first race day vlog of the year we're gonna call it. Um, it is the week before the icebreaker at the Berlin Raceway. Um, we were planning to go to the Kalamazoo Speedway last night just to shake the car down, um, just run a, a handful of laps, make sure everything was good. It rained like all day yesterday so they ended up canceling so we're gonna show up here today and we're gonna have to check off a few things off of a list we made of just just kind of get going little things so we're basically got hoosiers from last year that we're putting on the car not planning to run hard on them um three of them are brand new obviously that tire we punctured we were not actually able to fix unfortunately it just the patch would not stick so not gonna take any chances with that so we have three new tires but i'm not planning on running more than 10 laps on them um, they're really not going to be good for me to try and get used to, um, get back comfortable in the car. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use them to run about five, ten laps, shake the car down, not really worried about speed right away. Then we got um, two sets of McCrary tires. Those are the tires that we're going to be running all season long here at Berlin. We got two sets. One we're going to use as more of a practice set throughout the year, and one's going to be a set that we're going to use before the icebreaker here to, to try and really, you know, get dialed in. So... We're gonna run both of those sets today just to get a heat cycle in them. We don't have a lot of information on these tires, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to get some heat in them, see if they stretch, see if they shrink. We've played with them to try and get the stagger that we want. Um, these tires are a little bit different than the Hoosiers, so we're just trying to get a read on them, and we've been collecting a lot of data to try and understand what we can do before we even put them on the car that will give us the best result. So, got a lot of objectives to do today, but as you can see, it is a clear day here at the Berlin Raceway. So, ready to get after it. Um, you know, it's been a very long off season, especially after the summer we had. It's gonna be exciting. There is a lot of super late models here this this season. Um, I mean, we're, last, last season it was anywhere from 15 to 20 cars, and we are gonna be looking at maybe 25 to 30 here on a weekly basis. And especially here for the icebreaker, the JEG CRA, um, Pro Series is coming the week after the icebreaker, which is also going to bring a lot of guys that are running that series here for the icebreaker as well as here today to get some practice laps. So definitely going to be a little bit overwhelming. Definitely going to try and find our place in this field and just keep it smooth, keep everything together and learn so that way we're in the best position, the, be the most comfortable we could be going into the icebreaker in one week's time.
already. So, as you can see back in the shop, um, yeah, sorry about not really vlogging that much throughout the day. Um, it was basically, we would come in, you know, jack the car up, change tires, do whatever adjustments we were doing, and then it was right back out. So, um, really didn't have time to pull off the cameras. Um, I had all the cameras just in the car, so, um, you know, the helmet cam, the one out the windshield, then the one pointed on me. So, um, didn't really have time to pull the GoPro out of there and, and do any recording then. So, um, just to summarize, um, we, I think we went on the track about five times. The first time we went out there on the Hoosiers, um, and I think I only ran like seven laps. I obviously had that spin in front of me. That was in, that was the very, uh, very first time out. So, uh, you know, got through that, everything felt fine. And then it was the second time out, we went out and uh, the uh, exhaust fell off. I just don't know if we didn't squeeze down. We uh, went from the, I think I had mentioned in, a, in one of the earlier videos, we went from the, uh, where you weld on a tab on the exhaust pipes and then you bolt them together. Uh, we went with just like the sleeve clamps that like put pressure around it to try and keep it together. And uh, that didn't, uh, that didn't apparently work, uh, or we or it worked afterwards. I just don't think we had to clamp down enough. We also, uh, when coming around over here, we put uh, bolts through the, you got the, you can see how, uh, how she's running, but uh, you can see there's a bolt in there in the exhaust going through the uh, plate. Try and keep that from coming out. It just, it slipped off the Y, so it sounded really badly. Uh, hope I was glad it wasn't something wrong with the motor. Uh, made it through that though um ultimately like when we start to like look into lap time wise we were all right i think we'll be just fine i think we'll be back to basically where we were so um i don't think we'll see any big gains in terms of where we are in the pack um i still think we'll be um mid to the back but i i'm confident we'll you know we'll have a good foundation to start from as far as how the car drove um the first time out on the McCrary tires it felt good uh we were a little bit up off the ground which i feel like allowed or didn't allow the car to turn very well and um i was just really struggling with that kind of diamond line that you run in three and four it wouldn't it wouldn't get down and then we uh, changed tires we pulled some packers out and uh it then was a little loose a little loose in the center of three and four and then it was just kind of not on edge, but just kind of not really planted in one and two and didn't have as much drive, not necessarily drive off, but just to drive when you kind of get on the gas to stay committed to it, kind of had to get on it and then hold, get up on the straightaway, then go the rest of the way down. Um, so, I mean, I, I think we're fine. I think it's something that everybody's going to be dealing with, you know, just kind of being behind some guys. It's just, it's so easy to break sideways on these tires. Um, it's definitely going to be an interesting game of how much you have to kind of wheel it now. It's not just gripped up, you're on rails around the track. There is a little bit of um, finesse that's going to be required. Um, so we'll see. Um, but all, all in all, cars in, cars in one piece. Got it back in the shop here. Um, so that's, that's definitely what you shoot for. Um, didn't have any other pumps in the exhaust sliding off there. Um, I think we had some... From when we uh, filled the uh, oil cooler, there was some like oil in the uh, in the very bottom of the air box that we um, couldn't see underneath the radiator. That ended up kind of blowing out a little bit, so that was just kind of dripping. But other other than that, because um, we could see it, so we know that's for sure where it came from. Other than that, t confident that everything is good. We'll go over this week, go through our checklist, make sure everything's good. Um, Next Friday, they're having another open practice, which um, as of right now, we're planning to, to go do, and then we'll be racing Saturday. So, like I said, sorry, um, this is a long rant at the end, um, but sorry for not having like the more vlog type. That's what I plan to do on the race days, just didn't have quite the time as this fast paced day of, you know, practicing went, um, didn't have time to pick up the camera. Something I want to work on though too, should, should have been able to. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, like I said in, in the last video, um, consider subscribing if you're interested in watching the rest of the season. Um, still planning on doing all of the um, nine weekly um, Saturday races at Berlin. 
um, as far as our season goes. Um, so if you're interested in watching those, subscribe, you know, like the videos, try and grow the channel that way uh, we get out to more people because obviously that is the main goal, right? Um, get more people seeing what we're doing and uh, ex more exposure like so many other guys are doing to short track racing um, to make the sport bigger than it already is. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll have a um, midweek video going up and also I, I have some other ideas of something I might do. So be on the lookout for those and tell so until then, or this coming weekend, thank you for watching. We'll see you then.